Shot through the heart and you're to blame. You gave love a bad name. Oh, hey guys, just listening to my tunes through these awesome things, ATN X Sound Hearing Protector. So they're like Bluetooth and all guys. You can listen to music while your hearing's being protected from the sounds of the shots. Super cool. But this video is not about that. It's actually, and yes, these will come in handy when you're shooting the hammer because the hammer is not quiet. <laughs> the Airgun Angie with Airgun Web TV, and I know you guys have been waiting for this. I have too. This is all about big bores. Yes, this is a big bore air gun, but I'm not talking about air guns. I'm talking about a big bore hog. I got one, biggest one yet, and I was so super excited. So I got this gun about two weeks before deer season ended, and I had absolutely no success with it because the deer get smart by the end of the season, and they don't come out and say, hey. The scope mounted on it, I love it. ATN, guys, if you guys have not heard of ATN, check them out. They have so many awesome optics. They've got night vision, thermal, um, binoculars, monoculars, ATN X Lite 4K Pro with an 850 IR supernova light on it. Wow, oh, such a beautiful picture. And then I'm gonna be shooting the Nielsen Specialty Ammo. This, these are the 320 grain slugs. NSA has all sorts of ammo, go check them out, and they can probably give you some recommendations per the gun you have. Right there. Right there. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Super sweet. I think it's set up. I didn't get a deer with it, but I was hoping to get a hog with it. And I know this guy, Jimmy, thank you, Jimmy, who said, hey, I've got some hogs on my property. I want them gone. Would you like to come shoot them with your BB gun? I didn't argue. I said, sure. So that's exactly what I did. I set the bait up, got a camera set up so I can keep an eye on it and see when they're coming in and everything. And I waited for them to get pretty consistent and there was one big guy that was super consistent and came in all the time. So he's the one that I had my eyes on and to me he looked like a pretty big pig. Sometimes you can't tell with game cameras. He always came out at night, no daytime pictures of him, just nighttime pictures. So I had my eyes on him, I went and sat, and there he comes. Sticks his head right under the feeder, presented a perfect shot, and I took the shot, but I really thought that I completely missed. He took off, ran. I thought I completely missed him. We went and looked for him, couldn't find him. I don't think I got him. Mm. I don't think I got him. Think so? I don't think so. Look at the footage. It actually showed that I did hit him, but I hit him in the fatty part of the neck, the back of the top of the neck. Um, and so that was a no-go. He just ran off and he was just fine, I'm sure. I'm really sure now. <laughs> so about two weeks later, after keeping an eye on the, um, the game cam and the corn and actually looking for tracks and signs and stuff, um, they started consistently coming out. It's actually just a, a big sow. It was probably close to the same size as the boar hog I was looking at. A big sow and a young pig. I mean, not a tiny piglet, but a young pig. Um, they were coming pretty consistently, so I went out there.
I was hoping to take the sow. Well, the piglet kept coming out, running around, and it was like he was unsettled. He just wasn't sure. He'd come in a little bit, and then he'd take off. And I saw him in the woods. I heard him running around in the woods a little bit, but he never would settle down and just stay and eat. And then the last time he came in, he came in from a different direction, but then he wasn't alone. There she was, big mama. So I set my Binox down, and it was time to turn my x 4K Pro on and get ready to take the shot. So when I turned my x 4K Pro on, expecting to just see the big sow, and I was waiting for her to present me a good shot, I recognized something very familiar. There he was, the big guy again. He was back, and I was pretty sure it was the same pig. Um, he was back, and he wasn't really interested in the food. He was actually interested in the female, which she wasn't standing still very much. So I was debating on whether I should take her or take him. She was kind of moving around a little bit. He presented me the perfect shot, so I went ahead and decided that I would take him, and I'm glad I did. So I took the shot and oh my, I was super surprised and excited, as you can tell. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. He is down. He is down. Thank you. I got him. I got him. I got him. There's that big boy. There's that big boy. Yes. Yes. That's the hammer, baby. Yes. And as he slugs and the hammer, what a great pair. Freaking awesome. And ATN. Excite 4 game Pro. I'm shaking so bad right now, guys. This is freaking awesome. Him, dropped him, dropped him. So I sat there for a little while and waited for backup and my husband and my son showed up and we were all super surprised at how big this pig was. It was a heck of a lot bigger than we expected. All right guys, so I got one. This is the one I shot before. I believe I just got him in the back of the neck. But um, this time, he's down. Dropped him where I shot him. I think there's... Let's go check him out. Uh -uh. He's a big, big. He's a big old guy, isn't he? Great God. He is huge. Check him out. That is a big, look at the cutters on him. Mm -hmm. That's a nice pig right there. Woo. Sweet. The shot that was made was absolutely a perfect headshot right in front of the ear. I mean, dropped him immediately. So next thing is to figure out how to get this big guy up in the truck. I tried to film them picking the pig up into the back of the truck themselves, but it was impossible. That was a big pig. I had to put the camera down. We needed all three of us. So we got him in the back of the truck and it w we couldn't find a processor that was open that night. It's so close to the end of deer season. All the processors are like, we're taking a break. So we wound up skinning it out, getting it ourselves. I wanted to find out what kind of expansion I got with the NSA slugs, so I did the unthinkable, but it was very thinkable. I don't mind it. 
it's not that big of a deal to me. I actually dug the pellet out of his head and oh my, I was super surprised. So check it out guys. This is, it split the pellet in half. And that was pretty amazing. Got some nice expansion there. It did a pretty good amount of damage in that hog's head, as you could see. And when I found the pellet, it was actually, it went in, it hit one of the bones, turned back around and was going back in again. So that was an absolute, perfectly sweet, destructive shot. <laughs> so I definitely can testify NSA slugs in the hammer with the ATN Excite 4K Pro and the Binox guys, because the Binox are so helpful. You can sit in your stand. You don't have to have your scope up, your gun up, looking through your scope, moving it around. It allows you for less movement in the stand and just put your Binox up and that's it. So I love the Binox. I love ATN. I love the Umarex hammer. It is my newest, favoritist. I know favoritist isn't a word, but I don't care. Favorite is big bore air gun. It is so easy to operate and so dang powerful. And the reason I took a headshot guys was because I was confident that the pellet was moving fast enough to get there before he could jump the shot. And it proved that it absolutely is. If you guys are looking for a big bore air gun, that's easy to operate, super powerful, super accurate. This is probably the one. I'm ready to go again. There's still more hogs out there. I still have more air. I still have more slugs. My ATN works beautifully, have a lot of ba battery power left. Um, it's time to go again and try to get some more. I guess that's it guys. I'm Airgun Angie with Airgun Web TV. Y'all don't just have a good day. Have an awesome one. See ya. And you play your games. You give love a bad name.